Hey class, in this recording, this is Mr. Durst here, and in this recording we're going to be focusing on the walls of blood vessels. So we have Roman numeral number one here in our lab objective sheet for exercise 29. And if I go over here to Anatomy Atlas, Visible Body Anatomy Atlas, I'm going to go ahead and click on Micro Anatomy Views, and then click on Structure of Blood Vessel. So here we have a generic artery and a generic vein. And as we're looking at these, we want you to be able to recognize them both from a histology perspective. So you can see there's some asterisks here, meaning you need to know the histology of them if there's an asterisk. And then we also want you to be able to recognize them as you look at them as a, in a photo micro or just in a diagram or figure. So as we look at an artery, the outer layer of an artery is known as the tunica externa for both an artery and a vein. And this is one of the instances where visible body matches the terminology on your lab objective sheet. Another name for that is tunica adventitia, or just the adventitia sometimes, but we're gonna stick with the tunic uh, nomenclature, the tunic scheme. Tunic is a root word that means cloak or for something to wrap around you, or clo cloak or jacket. So the tunica externa is the layer that wraps around the external or outer edge. Within the tunica externa, there's going to be blood vessels entering the um, major arteries and veins. And these smaller blood vessels are going to supply nutrients and blood to the tunica media. And those blood vessels are referred to as the vasa vasorum. If you look in your lab manual at figure 29.1, that'll show the vasa vasorum. We're going to move ahead to the tunica media. The tunica media is the smooth muscle. So if we look at the vein, the, the smooth muscle of a vein is really thin. And the smooth muscle of an artery is much thicker for that tunica media. And if we were to look at some of our histology, that's loading right now. Just looking at the wall of a muscular artery, we can see, hey, look at all those smooth muscle fibers right there where I'm wiggling my mouse. If we look at a, a vein, veins have much less muscle tissue within them. And the outer layer, the outer edge, is going to be the tunica adventitia, and it's going to be made up of dense, irregular connective tissue, lots of collagen fiber. The tunica media of a vein is very thin, and the of an artery is very thick. And then the tunica intima is the inner layer, and the tunica intima is typically going to be a very thin, uh, a squamous epithelium, either simple squamous or stratified squamous, and very smooth and slippery, very low friction. As we look at our lab objective sheet, within the tunica interna, uh, which we can see here, this layer, this region of the blood vesicle, the blood vessel, the tunica interna, has three layers to it for the artery that we want you to know. We have as I zoom in here, the endothelium, which is the innermost layer. We then have next up the basement membrane. Visible body refers to it as the subendothelial layer, but your lab objective sheet refers to this as the basement membrane. And then next we have the elastic layer which we're asking you to just know as collagenous tissue. So due to some issues with students had in the past uh, uh, differentiating internal and external elastic layers, we're just gonna call it collagenous tissue because it has lots of collagen in it. And we'll stick to that. And if we flip back and look at the vein side of the spectrum, we have the tunic, um, the endothelium of the tunica intima but notice the endothelium in a vein also is going to form these valves, these one-way valves within the veins. Also, a key difference between the tunica intima of a vein and artery is the collagenous tissue. That elastic layer, collagenous tissue, is going to be present in an artery, but it is not present in the vein. So that is everything that you need to know for our generic blood vessel walls. If you have any questions or comments, class, please feel free to post them in the class discussion board or shoot me an email. And as always, happy studies.